Hello guys, KP Shamino here with a new video for Fishing Planet. And this is going to be my first video for my new leveling guide. So I made an account on the Windows version. And uh, we are going to start from here. And I'm going to give you guys the next couple of months, I think. Uh, because it's going to take a long time. I'm going to give you guys videos how you need to level in this uh, game. Because my last video guides were... I think two years ago, I saw a lot of people use them, but a lot of things changed in the game. Uh, so therefore I'm going to remake it and I got now some time that I can do it. So this is going to be a very good uh, beginner's guide too for the guys that start this game because I'm going to put a lot of info in it. Uh, what you can do and what best is what you don't do uh, because it's unforgiven. This game is unforgiven. If you don't know what you are doing and you make beginner's mistake, you will be in this area for a long time and uh, I want to prevent that. So let's start it. So I got 10 things in my book. So I'm not going to say how you need to do, to, to, do the tutorial because you know how you need to do it. Everything is very clear. So from zero to three, level three, it's not really a problem. So just get the telescopic, just get the small fish in. It's going to take five minutes maybe. But at, at level three, the game starts. So what do you need to do at the start? Uh, you need to go for the spotted bass in Lone Star. So that's Texas. So here you can see the spotted bass. And you can go for the grass pickerel too. Because sometimes the spotted bass is not biting that well or, or the spot dried up. Just chains. I will show you guys it how you need to get it. But of course for the spotted bass, you need to have a setup. And that's very important. Uh, so I will show you guys now what you need to buy. Uh, because that's very essential too. That you don't start buying everything in the game. Uh, because otherwise you're going to lose so much money. And that's not needed. The second thing that is very important in this game is the net. The bigger the net. The more fish you're going to catch. And can keep. Because... You can forward the time in this game, but the main problem is if you forward the time, there is a cooldown on it. So how can you speed it up with bait coins? But bait coins is gold currency in this game. It's very hard to get them. So you need to try to prevent that. At Lone Star, it's not really a problem because you can just travel the whole time uh, to Lone Star. You sell your net, you come back and so on and so on. Because there is no travel cost. Don't do that for the older lakes. Never do that. So on the older lakes, if I click now, for example, on mud water, you need to pay a travel cost and you need to pay a day fee. If you start traveling oh, the whole time to the global uh, map and the area map, you always need to pay this. In Lone Star, that's not the case. So you can just, instead of forward the time, just go to the global map, sell your fish, go back, and that's it. So let's talk now about the gear. So at level 3... You buy this setup. So I will go to my inventory. It's a spinning setup. So you got a spinning setup in this game. Uh, a casting setup. You need to use lure on them. Lures on them. These are lures. So don't equip it on something else. Because it's not working. Then you got a bobber setup. Uh, a little bit later you got bottom setups. You got carp setups. Always be sure that you equip the right equipment for the right rod. Otherwise the game is not going to allow you that. That's very important. So always think because I see a lot of guys asking always. Uh, yeah I cannot equip it. If you put a lure, a lure on a match rod. It's never going to work because that's a bobber setup. Just the same around too. So this is a setup that you need to buy at level 3. And it works really well for the spotted bass and for the grass pickerel. You don't need more than this. Just get it and you will get all the money in and all the experience. So it's a value spin 190. Uh, so it got a line weight of 3 kilograms. This kilograms that means the, the strength that you can put on the rod. If you go over that and you get the fish you break your rod. So never go over it. So always try to be uh, like this. So that the weakest link is the line. So you will see that in my setup the line is the weakest link. Why? If the line breaks, it's, it's less expensive than a rot or a reel. That's very important. Then the mini spin 1,200. So I went a little bit higher than the starting one. Mono 0 0.18. You guys will see 
here you got a test of 1.4 kilograms so if something breaks it's going to be the line the line is not expensive and i can do it perfect setup that's all the things that you need to have and then the casting spoon 5g2 so this setup very easy you will find it here in the shop spinning rods you will see uh, you will see it here so value spin is over here uh, the reel is over here and just buy it and save up the money uh, i'm not sure uh, where i'm going to uh, start changing the gear because i need to test it first so i cannot say it in this video i never can say what is coming because the leveling system is adapting the whole time for me to because it's very complicated the game changed a lot the last time that i leveled up i leveled up in the fisherman too but that's not really a marker because it's a lot easier to level up there but just keep doing this the next lake is probably going to be uh new york so that video will be up i think tomorrow or the day after so always just keep fishing don't buy stuff if you don't know what you are doing very important another thing that is very important in the game buy a keep net so you start with a very small one i just bought uh here keep net i just bought this one at level four so why because it gives seven kilogram of fish i can put in it and the starting one only gives two kilogram of fish it's a lot easier the time forward to remember that so i bought this too uh, another thing very important don't buy equipment baits and all that stuff on the lake areas because it's more expensive than the map area so it's not a lot but at the end it can matter so always buy your equipment here of course if you're on a lake that you need to pay a travel fee don't st start traveling always prepare to go to the lakes too so that's the gear then another thing uh where can you find the gear that you buy because at the start your equipment space is limited you need to go here to inventory you go to home space and here you will find all the equipment that you just bought and then you just need to equip it so if i want to get this is my old net so you click on your avatar you just do this and you will see you can just yeah put a new net in it always check it before you go and uh, that's it if you want to get more than one rod you need to go to shop you need to go to uh, equipment again you need to go to rod cases and you need to buy this one this can handle two rods instead of one but i would not do that yet maybe in the next video i will do it that i fish with a bottom rod and a spinning rod i don't know i need to test it but don't buy that yet because money is precious in this game and you need to watch what you are doing then another thing so now we are ready to go fishing another thing that is very important in this game is the license system so at lone star you don't have a travel cost but you need to pay uh, by the advanced license system why because on the basic license system you cannot keep the the, the spotted bass so you need to buy this one advanced license system i already got it so always read very good what you can keep and what you cannot keep because if you got fined at the start you are broke uh, so try to prevent that by the advanced license system that is very important gear that you don't use anymore sell it as fast as possible there is no reason that you keep it i can now sell my net here just sell it it's 19 currency only but you're never going to use that again take it from me i got already uh, two characters that are uh, above 40 level 40 i think and you never use it again it's just space that you are going to use so just sell it get extra money in and that's it so now we are going to lone star and i think i'm going to check my book i think that i said everything about the the selling buying equipment so now we are at lone star and you guys see here a graph uh, so what do you need to see here so it's just best times and uh yeah not so good times to fish so you guys see now it's partly cloudy and at the start of the day at 5 a.m a day always starts at 5 a.m if you forward the time you will sell your fish at 5 a.m so that's when the day starts so you guys can see it here and at 9 p.m the night starts from 9 to 5 a.m it's very essential because you got other bites uh, bites you got other positions for the fish so 
what I'm going to show you guys now is the positions for the day fish. So for the daytime and today uh, you got partly cloudy. So it's now a very good time to fish because the graph is the highest. So we are going to fish. So we are going to this peg home sweet home i'm going to show you guys how you need to get the spotted bat bass and i'm going to show you guys another thing so if your net is full and you're not on this lake because here you can just travel home i will show you guys it at the end of the video you need to push t with t you forward the time but you guys can see here the cooldown for the next fast forward is so much time so if you forward the time you will be locked out for a certain time if you don't pay a bait coin that's what i said at the start so you need to prevent that as much as possible and therefore it's always very good if you got a very big net so that you can fish the time that you got cooldown and then forward the time again because money is more essential in this game than experience you can say i just keep fishing the whole time and get experience in true but at the end the money is more important okay so where do you need to go so one of the good positions for spotted bass is over here and you guys see that i put a marker out so how do you put a marker out very easy push m and then you got this system so here i am at the moment if you want to put a marker out you take this and you can just click now i got here a marker out but i'm not going to do that if you catch a fish you can click this too and it's going to put a marker uh, from the catch of the last fish not the position that you got him, no, the position that uh, you throw, uh, the position uh, when you throw in the water that the lure is hitting the water. So it's possible that you got the bass here, but you started here. For the bobber, it's, it's just the position that you were fishing, but for the, the lure, it's not the case. So always remember that, that the marker is on that position. You can do a couple of things with the markers. What I see is very easy, uh, and what I do is... Uh, um, I do this a lot uh, to uh, still know when I was fishing because the time is very essential. So the weather you already can see, but if you click on this, the mark, you can put here, for example, the time that you got this fish. And that's very easy because the next time you come back, oh, okay, partly cloudy at 560, I had the trophy or the unique or, or a normal one. That's very essential that you know that. Because take it from me, there are a lot of species in this game. If you don't do that, you cannot remember it. On my other account, I got more than, I think, five, 600 markers in the entire uh, game. So that's a lot. So what we are going to do now is we are going to fish. So with plus and minus, you put your drag up and down. If you got, you see it at the bottom right. So what is the drag? Uh, the drag is going to put strength on the line and it's going to fatigue the fish. But if you pull your drag totally full, you're going to break your uh, line. So don't do that. So you see the boxes. So always start like, like this, very low with the drag. And if you uh, got a big fish on or with a new setup and you're not certain what you are doing, you are not going to break your equipment and then you can go uh, small steps up with the drag. I know this is going to work because I fished it already like that. But I will do it like this to show you guys it. With the mouse wheel, you can do this. This is the speed of the reel. Lowest speed, highest speed. We are going with two because that's very important uh, when you spin fish. So you guys see the marker? I'm going to show you guys two presentations that work for the spotted bass. So it's twitching. So just right mouse click and then you just reel. And then you're going to get the twitching. Do you guys see it? Works really well. And you can go all the way to here. You will, uh, you will get the spotted bass the entire road or way uh, until yeah, it hits your feet. So that's what you need to do. So now I got three dots. That's uh, that's very good. And uh, yeah, the more dots you got, the more at yeah the fish is going to bite. And there is a bite. And you guys see now that my tension goes up. So now you guys see that I can go up with my drag, and that's what I'm going to do. So let's go one click up. That's still okay. And one click more, and now it's perfect. Because if I go now one more up, I'm going to break my line. So this is the perfect setup. So here is the first spotted bass. 
and it's very easy fishing so you guys can see nine experience 71 uh, currency so let's get another one let's do the stop and go the stop and go is just reeling and if your uh, indicator goes up and back down you reel again so this is how you do a stop and go so you will see stop and go is coming now it works too but i got the impression that the twitching work works a little bit better for the spotted bass And by the way, another thing that I want to say, not every day is the same. So you can have two partly cloudy days, but one is very good and the other is a little bit less. Uh, that's normal. It works like that. So you got weather types too. You got uh, wind here too. Uh, so always remember that. It's not because the, the one day is partly cloudy and the other day is partly cloudy. No. It's possible that the wind is different and therefore you're not going to catch that much fish. So here we go again. If this spot dries up, it's possible. You just go over the bridge here. Not over the bridge, but on the bridge. And here you can get the grass pickerel and the spotted bass too. So you just stand here. You guys see a lot of vegetation here. You can see fish jumping too. So that's always a very good marker. There is uh, predator hunting. And just do the same. So you can uh, yeah, do twitch or stop and go. So let's have a look that the spot is active. And that we can catch a fish of course. That's very important. You can come all the way back in. So it's totally full here with fish. It's a little bit less I got the impression than the, the first spot. But it's working really well too. So here you go. I expect this is a spotted best too. Because the grass pickerel is a little bit further. No, it's a grass pickerel. I'm, no, no. I was still near the lilies. So this is a grass pickerel. It's almost the same money and experience. But he's a lot smaller. Therefore it's not so good. But... If one spot dries up, this is always better than not catching fish. So now you guys, you see that I got one kilogram out of the seven and I'm level five. So uh, you can see here in inventory fish keeper. So here you will see and I got a shitload of quests. I'm not going to bother with the quests. Maybe I do in between some of the quests because missions is this. You can do the missions, but I'm not really a fan of a mission. So if you're leveling don't go to an area just to do the missions because most of the time you're going to lose money if you're in an area for example if i go ever to uh, i think this is uh, new york i will do this mission because i'm in the area but never go to an area to do a mission because it's in my opinion not worth it because what are you going to do you're going to buy new gear you need to pay the travel fees and at the end of the road you pay more money to just do the mission than you will get from it so don't do it of course if you're in the area and you got the equipment just go for it the missions they will count even if you don't track them so uh lone star so you guys can see here i never did this mission but already got all this fish so this would be really easy to do i just need a golden shiner and a green sunfish uh and you got this so this would be really easy if you start the game because i did i didn't focus on it but i just did it with the tutorial so it's not bad that you can do it is there something that with uh, with the predators i don't think so but all the other ones so like this catch uh, a branch it's not easy with low level gear because you don't have the power in your reel so it's all yeah a little bit traps so always watch them guys if you do this so what can we do now we got here the fish 195 so normally you need to go now to 5 a.m but we don't have a travel cost so you can just leave they will sell it and we just travel back you are going to get a little bit damage on your equipment i think but it's a lot easier than just 
stay uh, just fish with a full net no just do this and start over again of course be sure that your net is full my net was now not full but that's how you need to do it guys so that was the first tutorial guys thanks for watching have fun and uh yeah i see you guys in next video bye bye